Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Badlands Ballistics. I got a fun little video I'm doing today. We're back on the Ruger Wrangler. Uh, hopefully you guys have seen the first video we did on this. This guy was shooting way low, probably 12 inches plus low. So today we're going to sight this old kid in. Um, I've already taken <clears throat> about 20 thousandths off this front sight. I'll show you how I how I measure. I got my calipers out here. So, so the whole trick to this deal is see if I can get it in there is is to get consistency right so I pull the I pull the extractor or the ejector rod up back set the calipers next to that and then put that down I don't know if you guys can read that it's about 900 and about 930 thousandths or so I've taken about 15 or 20 thousandths off of it so I'm gonna go ahead and shoot it right now. I didn't shoot it before because I knew that it was shooting probably 12 inches low. So uh, I've taken some off and I'm gonna admit a fault here. I scratched right here with the file and right here with the file. I don't know why I didn't think about putting some masking tape on there. So learn from my mistakes. I just kind of got in a hurry and took a little bit off and slipped with the file. Of course, I'll touch that finish up with the with a pan anyway so uh, or some cold bluing or something but uh anyway so learn from my mistakes put some masking tape down there first but let's go ahead and shoot it and see where it goes before we do i'll ask you guys to take a quick second please subscribe you know I, i've changed this channel so the new name that we're on now is badlands ballistics my uh, agriculture stuff i'm doing is on 10 cow ranch excuse me 10 cow ranch so if you're interested in the agricultural side of things that we do around here, we do a lot of construction, welding, uh, farm equipment repair, all that kind of stuff. Check out the other channel. Please subscribe to that one too. So, alrighty, let's get shooting. All right, let's go have a look. Okay guys, glad I put this big sheet of paper. Uh, but see, that's a pretty decent group. That's about a two inch group. Look how low it still is. I was aiming right there. That is still, I mean, we're probably at least 10 inches low, if not more. So uh, I got a new target, this upside down triangle. I've seen this on another YouTube channel. You know, I normally use these T's like this. So I don't know, I just thought I'd give this a try for a night, but we're gonna go take off some more. Uh, I didn't hardly even move it. All right, so I got a little masking tape on there. I'm gonna take off maybe another 40 thousandths. I hardly moved it, so I hate to get too crazy with it. We'll, uh, we'll do a little filing here. I'll tell you, I'm surprised how soft that front side is. I'm gonna grab the calipers. So about as near as I can tell, it's hard for me to hold the camera and and what I got going here, but about best I can tell, I'm still, I'm gonna take a little bit more off. Well, yeah, I, I'm, cause the back of the side is still a little high. Okay, it's near as I can tell, I got about another 40 or 50 thousands off. See if I can shoot with the green tape still on and not get too bugged by it. Yeah, it's not bad. All right, let's go have a look. Okay, my group still is not too bad. We're still hanging around that two inch group, but look how low it still is. We'll go take some more off. Okay, well, I didn't bore you with the filing process. I just took about another 70 or 80 thousandths off. Let's see how it looks. All right, hopefully we're getting closer. All right, well, I must not be taking as much off as I think. Still a good group. You know, that's less than two inches, around two inches, but still super low. I'm gonna whittle some more off, I guess. All right, well, we're gonna give her another shot. I have taken off about 200 thousandths. I am totally shocked. I thought 20, 30 thousandths would move it a long, long ways, but it certainly hasn't. Oh, we'll give her another shot. All right, hopefully we're getting closer. Well, I can't hardly believe what I'm seeing here. So here's my last three shots. Definitely getting better. That's about an inch group. 
Um, and it's just creeping up. I, I can't believe it's not moving more than that. We're gonna keep going until we run out of daylight. All right, well, I did some more filing. We'll give her another try. Hopefully we're getting closer. Okay, we're making some headway now. My group wasn't quite as good. Here's one, two, three. I'm aiming right there. So I'm off to the left just a little bit. Not, not. We're not gonna worry about that today, but I'm gonna take a little bit more off and hopefully, you know, I would like to be up into this. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm here. I'd like to be like right in here somewhere as far as my point of impact. So we're getting close. Okay, we'll try three more. Hopefully we're there. Okay, we'll grab a look. Well, that's certainly a good group. So here's one, two, three, you know, less than two inches. Still a little bit low. So I had a little bit of flyer last time up there. You know, and the others were over here. I don't know. I think I'm going to knock just a little bit more off and try it again. All right, we're going to give it another try. It's The sun is down. It's almost too dark to shoot accurately. So we'll see what, uh, what this next three shots bring us. All righty, hopefully we're getting close. Let's go have a look. Okay, so my group wasn't quite as good. So there's one, two, three. So I'm aiming right here. So I am gonna call that good for tonight. Um, it's off to the left just a little bit and that might be another day's project. For today, I'm gonna call this good. Okay, I think we're gonna call the siding process good for today. We're just gonna have some fun shooting us some steel. All right guys, you caught me on one miss there, but uh, I'll tell you what, the more time I spend with this little Ruger Wrangler, the more I like it. It is a dandy gun for the value. One thing that's interesting, I'll show this a little closer. Look how short the dang front side is. I mean, I filed that puppy clear down. I didn't even measure it, but I know I'm a couple hundred thousand. So just something to know about it is the front side is super generous. You know, I've never done that before. I've never shot a gun on paper like that and filed that front sight. I thought 20, 30, 40 thousandths maybe would be the most I'd have to go, but I went a freaking truckload of material off that. But anyway, it's shooting great now. Um, we may try to adjust the, the barrel on that where it's shooting that far to the left. That may be another day's project. So um, I've had some comments about doing that with the barrel wrench. Um, the way that it sounds, it's not too bad of a deal. I don't know. I've never done it. Maybe that'll be another day. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.